Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the Genius Team channel, where we break down tech topics to make them easy for you. I'm Hassan Kasula, and today, we're diving into the world of software. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things tech. Now, let's get started with today's topic, getting started with software. What is software? First things first, what exactly is software? In simple terms, software is a set of instructions that tell your computer or device how to perform specific tasks. It's the brain behind the hardware, making everything from simple apps to complex programs work seamlessly. Types of software. There are various types of software, and they can be broadly categorized into three main types. 1. System software. This is the backbone of your computer, managing hardware components and providing a platform for other software to run. Examples include operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. 2. Application software. These are the programs you use for specific tasks, such as word processors, web browsers, and photo editors. Think Microsoft Word, Google Chrome, or Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. 3. Utility software, tools designed to help manage and tune your computer, like antivirus programs, disk cleanup tools, and backup software. Installing software. Now, let's talk about installing software. Most of the time, it's a straightforward process. You download the software from a trusted source, run the installer, and follow the on-screen instructions. Be sure to pay attention to any additional settings or options during the installation process. Updating software. Keeping your software up to date is crucial for security and performance. Whether it's your operating system or your favorite apps, regularly check for updates and install them. Updates often include bug fixes, new features, and security patches. Troubleshooting common issues. If you encounter issues with your software, don't panic. Common problems can often be resolved by checking for updates, reinstalling the software, or troubleshooting specific error messages. Remember, online forums and support communities can be valuable resources. And that wraps up our guide on getting started with software. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or a beginner, Understanding the basics of software is essential for a smooth computing experience. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there are specific software topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time, I'm Hassan Kasula, signing off. Stay curious, stay connected. Peace.